We're here today looking at the N25 New Ross Bypass and part of the N25 New Ross Bypass is the Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy Bridge which stands behind me here today. This bridge is probably unique, it's 887 metres long but as you can see behind me the two main spans are 230 metres in length. Those 230 metres length spans make this the longest concrete extradus bridge in the world and the longest bridge in Ireland as well. Uh, the bridge itself, there's approximately 7,000 tonnes of reinforcement. Coincidentally, that's the same amount of steel in the Eiffel Tower. There's also 70,000 tonnes of concrete. A huge engineering challenge. The project was badly needed for the town of New Ross, as there were, in the summer months there was huge traffic congestion with all the trucks and people going on holidays, travelling through the town itself, going to Ross Lair and taking the ferry to Europe and the UK. The project's engineering journey started uh, some time ago, even pre-contract award. We eventually started on the project in January 2016, with the road opened in January of this year by Antishuk. I got involved in this project from the very beginning in 2016 when the contract was awarded to the contractor Regados BAM. Our uh, partner with a Spanish consultant, Carlos Fernandez Casado, in the design of a bridge, and I've been leading the design of a bridge for four years since the beginning of the construction award until the opening. And the way this bridge was built, which is using a method called balance cantilever, which basically means starting from the, from the central tower and going in segments on both sides, in small, in small pieces. That requires to basically balance the, the loads in the bridge all the time as you're building, which, which requires a, a, an integration of the construction and design team for a period of two, three years during the cantilever construction. And that in itself is extremely challenging and the reflections and the movements of the bridge when it was built were significant. So you need to start all the time revisiting your models and your analysis as the construction happens. Also the construction method in balance cantilever requires that every time we build a segment we need to move uh, relatively fast. So we were loading the new part of the bridge after only 36 hours from concrete pouring. And that in itself, in, in loading concrete when it's actually very young and very, with only one or two days of age, it required a lot of skills. To me the key achievement, this is, this is one of the largest bridges ever built in Ireland. And as I said, in, to some extent even in a global scale, it's a world record. And that required a, a team of international experts from local Irish construction and design engineers to international engineers from many countries like Italy, Spain and few other countries that were all involved in, in the design of this bridge for a long period of time, around four years. Big bridges take a long time to build and that requires a collaborative environment for a long period of time. And that was in itself, to me, a really re rewarding. 